This is the first comparative data we have with TDM1 compared to a standard trastuzumab chemotherapy combination in advanced disease. TDM1 is a fascinating agent. Uh, uh, almost first in class, but certainly first in the breast cancer world, where a uh, trastuzumab, actually a small amount, not the therapeutic amount, is linked with a potent linker to a derivative of metensin, which is where you get that TDM1. And derivative of metensin is a very, very potent microtubule inhibitor like a taxane. You can't give it by itself. It's too toxic to the liver. It causes a lot of thrombocytopenia. So this is the first randomized data, a phase two randomized trial, a little under 100. 40 patients randomized to classic docetaxel and trastuzumab uh, versus TDM1 every three weeks. And the TDM1 patients, although response was relatively similar as was clinical benefit, progression-free survival was dramatically longer with TDM1. Now, you know, patients, only about 20% of patients had been exposed to adjuvant or neoadjuvant trastuzumab, and it was a little imbalanced. And patients went off therapy at a higher rate in the dose the uh, docetaxel arm. And um, what that means, we don't really know. There was a crossover allowed in the trial. This data comes before the crossover, but it could be that crossover led investigators to say that patients had uh, progressed or take them off therapy due to toxicity faster. There was more sort of traditional hematologic toxicity with the docetaxel trastuzumab combination in terms of anemia and neutropenia, but TDM1 was associated with more thrombocytopenia, which is what we'd seen in prior phase two trials. Now where we are is continue to be very excited about this agent. Your hair doesn't fall out, you get chemo. As Martine Picard said in the discussion, you get the bullet without the gun, so you don't get the sort of uh, detritus or surrounding toxicity of an effective agent that is non-target oriented. Uh, uh, there is toxicity, we'll have to see what happens, and we need the phase three data. The Amelia study is uh, essentially accrued the number of patients, still some people uh, finishing up screening, uh, and hopefully we'll have data from that next year.